Yeah, it's, it's a big wall, a big block of snow, right? It's 10 feet wide, 10 feet deep, and 12 feet tall. And we thought, you know what? That wasn't big enough. We're going to go bigger. So we went up two more feet. That'll um, because, you know, it's a, it's a big concept. It's kind of a heady thing that we tried to tackle this year. And I, I tried to tell it, tell it to Max when he was out there, and I don't know that it came across quite perfectly. So the in a nutshell, um, the concept was, you know, think about, the trail we leave for, through technology, right? Every time we interact with a piece of technology, they're collecting some data. Um, we just want to make sure that humanity doesn't get run out of the out of the party by artificial intelligence. Gosh, that, that's deep. I mean, yeah. for a snow sculpture, yeah, you're, right. <laughs> you're getting deep with that snow. I was, you know, I just go outside and make some snowballs and call it a day. So that's that's pretty cool. I'm glad you explained the uh, concept behind it because that was going to be my first question. So here's my next question. In this crazy contest, uh, you are not allowed to use any power tools, right? So how in the world did you make something so big and so detailed? And how long did it take without power tools? Um, the first two days we spent, those are the real laborious days where we spent two days really roughing it in. It's really hard on your arms and your hands. Um, you're taking some uh, uh, roofing shovels and some implements that you shovel into the surface there and cut out the big areas. And then once you get to that point, then you start detailing. But that's really not until like the third and fourth days of the competition. I mean, it, I like watching it in, in um, what is that? Like when it's fast forwarded, yeah. what is that called, Nick? Double speed, like, double time. It's on double speed. It makes it look yeah. super easy, <laughs> but the intricate work that we goes into it. Um, We'd love to do it in double speed if we could. If you could, right? <laughs> Drink a couple of Red Bulls, I'm sure. Hey, in, in terms of weather, what kind of temperatures are you looking for when you're going to sculpt something like this? I mean, Breckenridge, it's also known as Brecken Fridge. I imagine that's a good spot to be. So I'll say this, this year was perfect. Absolutely perfect weather. We had sunny days, you can see it on screen right now. Um, but it was cold. It was the coldest sunny days we've ever had. Jeff and I have been out there seven years um, and we've had sun and warmth. In the sun, it hit, it hit 60 plus degrees one year um, and our piece collapsed, um, which was not, you know, that's not ideal. But this year was great. It was cloudy some days, it was sunny some days, but it was cold enough every day that it didn't hold us back. We could do what we needed to do. What are your plans? I mean, we hope you have more plans to make more snow sculptures in the future. You won this thing. What's next? What's the next thing you're going to top? Uh, I want to be done this year and just <clears throat> kind of enjoy this moment, right? This is a long time, probably 20 plus years of trying to get to this level of winning an event of this caliber. So I'm done for the season. We're just going to enjoy this one. This is very cool. I'm glad we got to talk to you before you even knew you were going to win. And then when I saw you guys did win, I was pretty amped about it. So thank you so much for joining us. We've come full circle with both of you. Congratulations and can't see what you see what you do next year. Thanks. Appreciate thank it. Love it. All right, cool. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way. So make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.